So I kind of, I've got like the double boiler thing going, and I don't know, I, I want to talk about masking, and honestly, this is going to be one of those that if I don't have to attempt to um, look the camera in the eye, it's, it's probably for the best. So yeah, anyways, um, it's also going to be choppy as hell. Apologies up front. Oh crap, forgot about this part. Oh, see those wrinkles, you two? I am old as crap. You can leave comments on. I'm good. Okay, so I've been talking about unmasking, right? And sorry for the excess background noise my um, dishwasher is on. Um, anyways, I guess there's not really a better place to start than like at the current situation, right? Because the current situation is by no means where I've been my entire life. You know, it's where I have found myself in an odd predicament. Okay, so um, I got brain damage two years ago, and all of my mental stuff kind of started presenting differently. And I, okay, just like straight out, I really can't mask anymore. Um, like, I can hold it together for a little while if I, you know, really, really need to. I'm not, like, a complete maniac, um, you know, I, like I am in my videos, like, I can't keep any type of eye contact and, you know, I'm just like, whew, no, but, um, yeah, like, that's me at home, that's me by myself, and that's me talking to you guys, because, um, I don't know why I'm unmasked in front of you. I guess because you're not really here, you know. Ultimately, you're you're imaginary in, in my phone, right? So yeah, that's that's how we keep these things going. Yeah. So anyway, um, I can mask a little bit, like a tiny bit. Like I can hold it together for about an hour or so, if it really, really, really need be. But once I do that. I am out of spoons for the day. Like, I mean, completely. Like this morning, I went to the doctor's office and um, I had got an inhaler and some antibiotics because yay, I'm sick. And anyway, um, I had to keep it a little bit together for like that whole thing, right? And so I did. But like, now I am fried for the rest of the day. No questions, no ifs, ands, or buts, just like fried, right? And um, yeah, I don't, God, I wish I could say that, you know, there was something I could do to like make it better or fix it or be less fried or whatever, but no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just done for the day. I'm, I'm done being a productive, like, successful member of Sai for today. And, um, hold on. Yeah, sorry about the barking one. Um, anyway, so like I was trying to say, like, I, I will need at least a day to be able to human effectively again with people that are outside of my immediate family. And by my immediate family, I mean, my boyfriend, and my puppy, and my kitties, and the outside kitties, and um, yeah, just recovery time, recovery time, because um, my brain, it just requires recovery time, okay? And anyway, um, I used to not be like that. I used to actually uh, mask quite well. Um, the people in my family, could be forgiven if they wouldn't, hadn't ever picked up on there being something, uh, you know, um, differently wired about my brain, right? And again, I've got a respiratory infection. I am so sorry about the like, you know, heavy breathing and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, um, okay. My whole family would be totally forgiven for not knowing that I had, you know, different wiring up there, right? Um, every friend I've ever had could be forgiven for not realizing it. Every person I've ever met, because um, before I got brain damage, my mental crap 
like my mental goodie bag. Everything like just, it, it all works so perfectly together. And um, I mask so well guys. Like so, 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 so well. Okay, like for real, I masked so well that um, I did not realize there was something wrong with me. Okay, I mean, I kind of did. I kind of did. That's a lie. Um, okay, so when I was little and I would ask my mom um, questions like, you know, why does this have to be so hard or blah, blah, blah. And she would say things like, it's like that for everybody. And um, that, uh, uh, okay, she she has undiagnosed ADHD. I'm just going to say that right now. And we've talked about it. She knows how I feel on the subject, and she refuses to get diagnosed. Um, she actually refuses to even talk about the other thing, the, um, the AU part of the odd EHD thing, right? Yeah, she won't even have a discussion. She's not open to hearing about it. <laughs> it's super fun, um, but she doesn't want to know. And when I have told her that I suspect various times, she's done things from change the subject to, gosh, one time, um, tell me that she didn't want to know because she didn't want to know these things about herself. And, you know, I guess I, I respect that. Um, but, like, you're still my mom, and I still needed probably to know these things. Um, and you might have been picking up on this because I'm, when I look back at my life, my presentation of everything, it was not fully atypical, right? I was hyperactive in certain aspects. When I was excited about stuff, I could go to Haunted House and spend hundreds, literally hundreds of hours doing like physical stuff and it was not a thing. Um, I worked on multiple rooms. I, um, <laughs> I can tell you what the parking lot at every single school I have ever been to looks like because I'm a daydreamer. I sat there, I daydream. Oh, did I ever daydream? But anyway. So, like, I masked really well, and I, I can't fault anybody for not realizing. I, I can say that once, you know, somebody did start to realize, maybe, maybe that's when you kind of give up on the, you know, protecting yourself so much from things, but you know, I digress, I digress. Anyway, and um, has a damn good mask. And everything started presenting in an opposite way when I got sick. Not got sick, but when I ended up without blood. Um, I would say the first time, I probably did okay. I did okay with it, you know, with no blood. Like, for a newbie to the bloodless of society, I did pretty okay with it, right? Anyway, I... The second time around is when I started to get the brain damage. So, everything kind of started to shift. It was gradual, but I was also kind of delirious during half of these points and um, in various states of my mind being there and not there and there and not there and there and not there. Guys, it gets weird. Make sure you have blood in your body. It's apparently super important. Anyway, anyway. I, I was never worried about masking. And... Then one day, I realized I can't hold myself together for like any time at all. It takes an immense amount of things to get me to be able to hold myself better, to like just, just slightly together, right? There's like prep work involved, there's routines, there's 
infused oils. I mean, like, there's a lot, okay, that it takes to get me to people, in front of people again. <laughs> um, yeah, so I never really thought about unmasking. I just kind of um, found myself in a situation where I was forced to learn how to deal with being unmasked. And yeah, I'm talking kind of slow because I'm trying to figure out which words are the best um, to use here. Because part of my, my brain stuff is that I have word recall issues. And I've already like totally offended a really good friend of mine today. Um, just by honestly missing a word in a tweet. Um, I, 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 think it, I think one word probably would have. Um, it, it would have sorted that tweet out, and it would have made it a lot better, yeah. But I didn't put the word in, and I'm um, pretty sure I hurt my friend's feelings. I don't think all of these people are just like suddenly getting ADHD. I think we're suddenly realizing all these people have ADHD, is what I think is happening in society. Um, for most people, luckily, it's not in as drastic of a way as it is with me. Cause like, I, oh, I could not, I would feel so horrible if the entire world was having to like unmask like this um, in some way where you're being forced to cause your, your stupid, stupid brain <laughs> decided it didn't want a brain anymore, you know? Well, whatever, whatever. I digress. I'm gonna stop talking now. I don't know if I'll publish it at this point, or I might, might wait. I might wait. Who knows? I guess you'll find out in like half a second. Okay, so, so far all I've really done is just like a ton of rambling about masking, right? And I mean, as much as that's, that's, that's a thing, um, I don't really think I feel like I've explained myself at all and why I can't mask anymore. Okay, so thinking about that comes down to the knowledge of what masking for me entails, right? And, um, okay, let's start with the simple stuff. Eye contact. I make eye contact. I make a lot of eye contact because that is something I have been doing um, my whole life. Masking, you know, since like childhood. And, um, and they, they yell at you, they yell at us girls. I don't know if, um, if you boys had this experience, but they yell at us, right? And they yell at us and they tell us we have rules. And so we follow the rules, right? These weird ass rules of like society or whatever. Um, society has rules, and it's got a lot of rules for girls, and just a lot of them, you know? And, um, so I mask in a lot of ways that are social cues. I am, I'm, I'm, when I'm forward facing, and I have, like, say, my customer service mask on, I'm perky and bubbly and all of the things, right? And that is what got me through, you know, um, five years at Best Buy. And then however many years just job hopping from company to company and jobs that I had absolutely no qualification for, right? Um, but like, I'm able to be become a cheerleader, right? And that's how I've survived most of my life, is um, being able to become a cheerleader. And, and now I am not able to do that um, for more than a few minutes at a time. So if, you know, if I've got to make it through a therapy appointment, woohoo! I'm talking to my therapy has seen me unmasked. She has, she has. Um, everybody who's gotten comments on YouTube from me has, has experienced me unmasked. They certainly, certainly have. Um, it's, it's nothing, you know, it's not even intentional anymore. It's not a choice to unmask. It's just the circumstance I exist in. So I am, uh, as far as most 
most people have known me for a few years now, when pretty much completely unmasked. Okay, so I've covered that eye contact is hard, but I haven't covered what about it is hard. So when I am making eye contact with someone, I am focused on, well first off, I'm usually, I'm not looking at their eyes, I'm looking at like the space in between on their nose, because how do you determine which eye to look at? Because I can't look in two places at once, and so I'm going to have to make an actual choice here, right? And how do you make that choice? So, like, unless I just want to be bouncing between eyes the entire time, I look at the place in the center of their, their forehead, right? And, um, and, and yeah, if you guess that at this point I have not heard a word they have said, oh, you would be correct. I have just been focusing on where should I be looking to make eye contact, because I don't, I don't know, this is weird. It's kind of a weird thing to do, right? Okay, so anyways, I, I make the eye contact, right? And I make sure that I'm appropriately replying, right? Because it's, you know, conversations are a two-way street, and you have to respond back to the person. So I make sure that I'm paying enough attention to their conversation so that I know I'm replying back to it, at least, at the very, very least, right? And, you know, and, and hopefully I'm being um, productive and helpful in this conversation and this is where one of my biggest neurodivergent urges pops up I want to relate to you I want to be I want to be frenzies okay I want to find something in common so I, I'm going to tell you about an experience that I've had that's like similar and I'm really I'm not trying to make it about me 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 I'm trying to bond with you yeah okay anyway so that was just a sidestep and a neurodivergent urge that um I have found since the brain damage is like an omnipresent thing in my life and um yeah sorry I'm really I'm not trying to like make it all about me I'm just trying to bond with you you know um okay moving on anyway so um I gotta think about something relevant to say back to them right okay so okay 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 you're just saying okay to yourself in your head you realize that don't you and you know this is just like Seriously, this is, um, 20 seconds of me trying to pretend that I was having a conversation with someone in my head, um, that I'm trying to mask in front of, and, um, yeah, that's, that's like the, ha the hectic, like, frantic pace that my mind throws thoughts out at me, and so, of course, I'm exhausted when I have interaction with, you know, other humans, and I am expected to be, like, a coherent, not rambly, other human, like, you know, other people my age are, 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 and I'm not, I'm not that, I'm not that, sorry guys, not that, but, um, anyways, they still expect that, so, you know, if I show up at Walmart, I can't show up at Walmart sounding like I'm sounding right now, I have to show up at Walmart with, like, you know, eh, my head on my shoulders, I guess, is that a thing? Who knows where thoughts come from? They just appear. But anyway, so that's like a peek into just a few seconds of masking with me. And seriously, it's like, it, it's a fucking, it's a gauntlet. Just have a normal human conversation with somebody. Just to like, you know, um, remember that you're supposed to ask them um, how their day is going, right? Because that's, that's important, and you gotta, um, that, that, that does take spoons, my friends. Oh, God, does it take spoons to remember to ask that? It's not that I don't care about your life. It's, it's really, it's never that I don't care about your life. It's that my dumbass forgot to ask, okay? Because, like, <sighs> Sorry, social interruptions. It's a lot to remember. It's a lot of rules to remember and rules to follow. And, you know, I just, I, I, I try my best to remember them every, every time I'm, I'm dealing with it. And, um, you know, I, I try very hard, like the people, okay, so I have interaction with my therapist once a week, you know, ish. Um, the last few weeks have been spotty because I've had to reschedule because, you know, Tulsa and McFoley and all of that. Anyway, anyway, um, 
I like to be able to remember to ask her, how is this going? Or how is that going? Because, you know, she tells me little bits about her, you know, random life that she, like, is living. And, you know, I want to be able to remember to ask her about these things. Do I ever remember to ask her about these things? Absolutely not. No, that's not something I do. That's like, <laughs> that is way above my pay grade, guys. Okay, so, um, yeah, masking is fucking exhausting. Um, yeah, I would say, like, uh, you know, do the peace sign and stuff, but peace out, my love.